Hi everyone, my name is Tabitha. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to talk about the accounts. We have charts of accounts. There are different classes, classification of accounts that make up the financial statements of a company. There are a lot of them. <laughs> Tax of accounts numbers. So these accounts are assets. Assets accounts numbers range from 1000 to 1. 999 1999 and then liabilities account numbers range from 2000 to 2099 capital account range from 3000 to 3999 3, Nine. Revenue accounts range from four thousand to four thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine. Cost account, cost of good account range from three five thousand. They range from five thousand to five. 5,999. Gross margin is represent represent the difference between the total sale for the, the period and the cost of goods sold <laughs> that was sold. Okay. Expenses. Expenses account range from 6,000 to 6,999. Those are the numbers of account. Most of the time, you don't need to crumb them because you will be given. So the only thing that you need to know is maybe how to calculate debit and credit. Bookkeeping for debit and credits. Accounts are debited and credited to increase or decrease their balance based on the transaction of the business. So this one means if you have account balance of assets, let's say you have money in the banks and the balance is, is 2000 say if you make a transaction, this transaction could either be debited or credited and it might increase lead into increase or decrease of that balance so let's see this there is what we call t accounts it look like letter t right business transaction may cause increase or decrease in assets liabilities or owners equities or maybe net worth let's take an example Accounts names. You have to put the account name there, the account that is being affected, which could be asset account or liability account. And then on the debit side is always the left side. And then the credit side is the right side. So let's say for example you did a transaction that caused that account to decrease or maybe increase or the one that lead to debit recording bookkeeping for debit and credit <laughs> when using a t account to record increases or decreases in an account the increase are placed on one side of the account and the decrease are placed on the other side then you can add the increases and then add the decreases and then subtract the sum of the decrease from the sum of the increase to determine the balance of an account. This means how many 
how many transactions did increase that balance. You can add those transactions and then maybe add them to the balance. Or how many transaction decreases that the, the account balance. So you add all those account, transaction that cause the decrease in that account and then you subtract the amount from the total balance. So now, account normal balances. For you to understand what is T account or maybe debit and credit, you have to know normal balances of accounts. We have account like what we had already seen. We have asset account, debit account, asset account, liabilities account, expenses account, and also revenue accounts. So there are those accounts that are normally debit balance. So like assets, assets are debit, are debit normal balances. And then also expenses. They are always debit, normal balances. And then when you come on this side of the credit, we have uh, liabilities accounts, uh, credit, normal balances. And then also capital, revenue are all credit, normal balances. What we mean when we close the transaction for the previous day, so the balance that we are left in that account of asset is on the debit side. And then maybe the, the amount that is left on the expenses account is on the debit side. The same thing for the liabilities. They will be on the credit side. <coughs> T account. Every account has both 40 accounts. Every account has both debit or credit side. Assets and expenses have a normal debit balance like what we already saw before. We have normal balances for assets and expenses. We have normal balances. If, let's say for example now we have um, an asset which is house with normal balances of debit so what happened to that balance when we do a transaction that lead to an increase increase in an asset account or expenses account so you will debit the whole thing whatever increase that account will lead to that debit you will debit it Otherwise, if the transaction lead to a decrease in, in asset or expenses account, and then you will credit it. Okay, so let me say we have a bank, or maybe you have money in the bank, and it's, um, and it's, you, you do, you did a transaction of, issuing a check okay so that transaction will actually decrease the account balance of that asset so what do you do to the amount that you issued for a check you will credit it because it's going to decrease the amount of assets let's say we are doing a deposit so your deposit is going to increase the amount of that account and then you have to debit the amount. Since liability, capitals, and revenue account normally have credit balances, to increase this account, you credit them. And decreasing, decrease in this account, you debit them. Maybe T account, like this is assets. So any transaction that increase this assets amount, we lead to debit. The other one that
and then the one that decreases it, it will lead to credit. For, for liabilities, the one that the one that increase the liability account will lead to to credit, and the one that decreases decreases the liability account will lead to debit. Here, the same thing too. Increases it lead to credit, and then decreases it goes that way. So all this for the expenses, the one that increases it, you debit, and then one that reduces it, you credit. So just simple as that. Debit and credit are not the same as increase and decrease. Debiting simply means entering an amount on the left side of an account, and crediting means entering the amount on, on the right side. Either may be a decrease or an increase. Account with debit balances, asset or expenses. So now we will have an example of what happened to this account. We have this account as bank and it is an asset account. It has a debit balance of 23 and 56 amount dollars. Okay. So what happened to this account when you do a deposit of 180 and issue a check of 500? What happened to the account? What is the effect that this transaction will have on this account? That's what we call T account. That now let's see. When you deposit 180, 180, it will be entered. <coughs> 180 has a deposit on the bank account, which is an asset account, will increase the balance. So it would mean you have to debit the 180 amount because it's going to increase the balance. So the beginning balance was uh, 2,356. It was a debit balance. So now, because your deposit 180, 180 is going to increase this balance. So what are you going to do is to debit the amount because it's increasing the amount. And the new balance will be 2,536. What about what happened when you have issued the check? What is the effect of this transaction on your bank account which is an asset account so you, your your balance was here after you deposit the 180 you have 2532 but this check is going to decrease this amount so what are you going to do you're going to credit it because any transaction that decreases the asset balance account is credited. The one that increases the assets account is debited. So the new balance is going to be 2000, $2,036, which is debit. I will subtract it. After the transaction, you, your account will look like this at this time. So you started out with uh, 2,356, and then you made a transaction of depositing 180. So this 180 is going to increase the asset account, which will make you debit. You will debit 
the amount. So it will, or you add it into that amount, which is 2,536. And then now you head up issuing check, a check of 500. So this check of 500 is going to decrease the amount. And anything that decreases the asset account is credited. So this amount you would put it on the credit side. And the new balance will be 2,036 cents. So when you're crediting that amount, you have to subtract it out of there. So you remain with that. Because the money is going out of the bank, so it's decreasing the asset account. So you have to subtract it out. When you're depositing, it's increasing the asset account, which means you have to debit. The money is coming in. And that is the whole concept around account payable. Let's look at what happened to liability account when you have an, a transaction that is going on? So this is the liability account. So for liability account, any transaction that increases liability account, you credit. And any transaction that decreases, a liability account you debit you debit it so this one mean plus when you credit it you are adding and then when you debit it you are removing right so that's what it is so the first thing that you need to know is like what account is affected and when it is a what is the normal balance what is the normal balance normal balances the normal balances like in this example we have account payable is a liability account that is affected what is the normal balance of liability account it is usually credit so now what happens when a transaction is made if a transaction is made and is increasing this liability account and then you credit when it is decreasing this liability account and then you debit which means you subtract so here we started out with 8724 now we did some purchases on account so we mean we didn't pay cash we promised to pay to, to pay later so this amount is going to increase our debt like account payable <coughs> account payable our liability is going to increase by six thousand so when i mean increase you have to add to the balance so and you're crediting it so you will get fourteen thousand seven hundred and twenty four what happened then when we decide to pay some of this bill, we pay 8200 So when we are paying part of this bill called account payable, we are decreasing the balance. We are decreasing this balance. So when we are decreasing the balance, we are debiting. So we debit the amount. And when we debit, we have to subtract. When we subtract from here, we're subtracting. We're subtracting from this amount. So the new balance would be credit because it's positive, right? It's here positive and it's credit. So the credit balance of 6,524 would be remaining in account payable for the next transaction or maybe next period. And um, um, explanation, the account payable is a liability account. It has a credit balance of 8,724. You make a purchase. So the purchases on account, which increase the account payable balance, so your credit 
you will credit 6,000, leaving a new balance to 14,724. When you make a payment, when you make a payment for when you make a payment for for that amount, which is eight thousand two hundred, the new balance will be six thousand five hundred and twenty-four.